Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do a very quick vlog for you today on making your own caffeinated hair products. This kind of goes alongside an article that I've done on the blog, so it might make a bit more sense if you just quickly skip over to the website um, and have a read. But in a nutshell, there's trials to show that caffeine increases the speed of hair growth and quality of the hair. So on the market, I'm sure you've all seen these caffeinated hair products. The reason I did this is because during the summer I find my hair grows much quicker and better and then this kind of tails off as we go into autumn and winter and what I wanted to do this year is I wanted to start using caffeinated hair product to see if I could just maintain that growth and thickness of my hair. When I looked at these caffeinated hair products though, they've all got really harsh ingredients in them. Most of them are shampoos full of sulfates um, and I'm just not willing to put that on my hair. So I thought, well, why don't I make my own caffeinated hair product? That way you have much more control over what you're putting on your hair. And also it's a lot cheaper because a lot of these caffeinated hair products are really, really expensive. So basically that's what I've done. It was difficult to find the exact concentration of caffeine in most of the shampoos because I think the companies obviously keep it quite close to their chest. But from researching on the internet, I found out that it's normally about 2%. Now, you need enough, obviously, to stimulate the follicles, but you don't want to put too much caffeine on your head because apparently you can get something called follicle insomnia, which sounds horrendous. Um, but from research, I found it was about 2%. So that's the concentration that I'm going to make. Another thing to bear in mind when you do this is that for this to work, it has to be in contact with your scalp, not your actual hair shaft, and it has to be in contact with your scalp for about two minutes. So this obviously has a influence on what product you're going to use. So some people could use the caffeine in a solution in a squirty bottle and then just spray it onto their scalps and leave it for the two minutes. Some people might want to put it in their deep treatment um, and leave that on for two minutes. Personally, I chose to use a co-wash to make my caffeinated product because when I co-wash, I tend to put that on my scalp and I tend to give it a really good rub in for at least a couple of minutes. My conditioner I might leave on for longer, but it's mainly on the ends and the actual hair itself rather than my scalp. Before September, I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be using caffeinated co-wash during the month, and I'm going to see if it makes any difference. I'd love it if you guys did it as well and let me see your results. All you need to buy is the co-wash of your choice or the conditioner of your choice, or even just a squirty spray to fill with the caffeine solution. For my co-wash, I chose the Superdrug conditioner. I read online that the uh, Superdrugs Extracts Conditioner is Curly Girl Friendly and they're I think like 90p each or something really cheap. So I got this one. This one is the Green Apple and Tea Tree Conditioner. It smells quite nice actually, very fresh. Now you need a full bottle of product because you need to be able to work out what 2% of this is. So this is a 400ml bottle and it's not been used yet so I know that's what's in there. Second of all, you need your caffeine. I wouldn't go brewing your own coffee or tea or anything like that because you don't know exactly how much is in it. And generally speaking, the amount that's in a tea or coffee is not enough. And you need enough directly on the follicles to really get them going hyperactive and crazy and you'll have massive hair. Caffeine-wise, some people use Pro Plus, um, but the Pro Plus tablets are quite a small dose. So I managed to find these caffeine tablets online. Now, first of all, I don't know who these monsters are who eat 200 milligrams of caffeine and feel the need to supplement their diet with these hardcore caffeine tablets. But wherever you are, I hope that your uh, palpitations and your excessive sweating and your tremors are doing awesome. I'll put all the links to everything in the description. These tablets are 200 milligrams each. So again, you need to make sure you're aware of dosages and things because we're going to work out 2% in a minute. So I need to work out what 2% of that conditioner is to be able to put the equivalent of caffeine in here. 2% of 400 mils is 8 grams of caffeine. You're going to have to trust me on that. If not, head over to the blog and look at the calculation. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out that equivalent and I'm just going to add it to the conditioner. to crush down and I wanted to get it as dissolved as possible and that's worked really well it's made it into like this kind of chalky paste so I'm going to pop that in with the conditioner and then give it a really really good shake I'm sure there's a slightly more logical way to do this but this will do I just need to give this a really good shake to get it all mixed in very important that you do this because otherwise you're going to end up with about 10% on your hair at once. Ok, 
Okay, so that looks like it's all dissolved down. And there it is, your own homemade caffeinated hair product. The concentration that's in this bottle is fine to be used every day because all the other shampoos at 2% say that you can use them daily. You don't have to use it daily, but you might get better results if you do. Personally, I probably wouldn't use it more than once a day because I'd be scared to follicle insomnia. Very quick disclaimer, I am not a hairdresser, I am not a scientist, I do not work for any hair product company and I'm not a caffeine expert. This is just what I've seen online and I'm interested to try. I'd be interested if you tried it as well and let me see your results. I hope this video has helped. If you are going to do this as well for September then let me see your results definitely, but I'm really interested to see if this works. As always, if you like this video give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything in future. And until next time, take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. Bye!